Hello everyone, welcome. Today we're going to compare Plex with Infuse and see and show you why uh, Infuse combined with Plex is ultimate streaming that you can do in your home network. So this is my NAS Synology. I think it's called DS, DS9210 Plus and it has like one, uh, two Ethernet, Ethernet port and it can be upgraded to 10, upgraded to 10 if you want and four bay and each one I think you can put up to 20 terabytes so up to a total of 40 terabytes currently I have 10 but I'll I'm trying to upgrade when I uh, my let's say my uh, hard drive is full when it's full I'll upgrade but for now I'll kill, keep it like this so I'm gonna uh, so explain to you why you, you need infu infuse not as plug so plugs does not support can play basically play all the uh, video files for example if you have like a 10 HP blu-ray at a high bitrate it can do no problem however when it comes to 4k high rate blu-ray it struggles so it will do transcoding to support but the issue is that uh, if you need probably an expensive synology nas or other a different nas or you have to put on your let's say nvidia gpu supported or or intel gpu or cpu supported laptop and you know like laptop or computer are not made for working 24 hours whereas synology nas or any other nas is. so therefore but by, uh, by combining with infuse you can basically have a smooth 4k playback and when you're let's say using 1080p you can stream on plex so i will show you how how like infuse has much better smooth than a 4k on 4k streaming than plex 4k all right let's go to the video hello everyone so this is the ui of apple tv 4k 2022 so so i have both infuse and plex so first we'll go to plex and do test so so if you look at it these are 1080p movie blu-ray so if i play this there won't be any issue to play smoothly and if you go to my hair see it's streaming look at look at this is the bitrate it's using excellent and if i pause and bring up the details you can select chapter chapters just a second and then play if you go to playback setting play original quality full dynamic range korean 5.1 dts technical details here yeah, bitrate So now, now this is a 1080p stream. Now if I go to like a last of us 4K streaming and go click this one, you will see it won't be smooth. It will be very buggy. Look at it, it's buggy. I do. But I'm on Atkins. What now? It's a... You know what? We gotta run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. So, see, it's not working smooth. And if we go to the playback setting, let me try that again. So, play original quality. And if you go to technical details, see, look at the bitrate. The thing is, because it's tra uh, transcoding, and then my server cannot handle it, it's not smooth. So, for 1080p, Plex is fine. And with Synology, However, without uh, Synology, I mean not Synology, I mean 4K streaming, your choice is to go to uh, Infuse rather. And if you go to Infuse, again, it's the same area, I can, we can resume. And resume playing, it's, it will be the same area, since it takes the, uh, from Plex itself. And this is like a player. So now it will be smooth. So as you can see, now it's smooth. And if you go to here, look at the streaming. See, now it's continuously doing 70, 60, 81. So it's now stream properly. And if you go to pause and swipe down. Now, and then go to video. So it's normal, aspect ratio, auto, none. And if you go to audio, true HD 7.1 which is Dolby Atmos uh, lossless. Now remember, Apple TV does not support surround 
to that is so what is going to do is going to convert to water apple support so the quality will still be there but it won't be like uh, quality everything will still be there but the details will be lower as in uh, surround sound kind of detail so so for fork and you can see here it's 4k HD. oh and one more thing if you have a samsung tv plex won't support hdr 10 which means you need to use infuse for hdr 10 and there's one more thing you need to do for smoother playback on Apple TV. Now this old this app is only on Apple TV. And that is and I, the benefit of iCloud Sync is that once you combine with Infuse, let's say you now let's say you open your Mac, you download the app or iPhone, and then all the setting you did here will also copy to that. That's why that's why this option you need to turn on. And live and libraries where you can sync with iCloud. So now I have nine episode TV episode and nine movies. I look and you, this one scan if there's an upgrade update, and this take from you can also choose different server. Plex is much easier to choose anyway. So you can also connect to track, which basically track your uh, like what episode you watch things like that. And then I'll tell you which one. If you go to below, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, in the playback setting. You, okay, in playback setting, make sure the screen cache is legacy and not auto. Because if, if you put auto, it's, what you're going to do is going to download and the stream will be very buggy. And of course, it will be on volume. Now, this volume boost will only work if your uh, audio is not like, let's say, Dolby Atmos or 5.1 and it's only like 2.1 or stereo, then it will increase. And all other settings, same. Uh, let's see. So again, remember streaming actually to legacy. And if I go to my library, oh sorry, not this one. Uh, let's see. Wait, is it this one? TV shows. So okay, this is the only TV show I have. If I go to movies and press all movies, okay, these are the all mo all the movies I have. All these are blue blue ray quality. This is 4K. 4k 4k 1080p and even streaming on let's say this one 1080p is still fine but i would say for 1080p so even for streaming for 1080p i mean my bad streaming on a 1080p plus is fine it will do well streaming on this one uh, i think you infuse again infuse only is on apple products so you need apple tv so now here, if you go to resume and resume playing, it, this one also works smoothly. And, and like I said, streaming. Look at the streaming bitrate, 37, 41. 42. This is how good the stream is. 